Perhaps there is no person in the world who needs to be explained what monstrous consequences the Second World War entailed. Destroyed to the foundation of the city, tens of millions of deaths around the world, the loss of faith in humanity at last. The phrase of the philosopher Theodore Adorno that poetry is impossible after Auschwitz is widely known, but not always correctly interpreted. However, life is far from morality and philosophical theories it simply exists. And who else can capture it in such detail, and at the same time impartially, if not a photographer? Post-war photography is an amazing macrocosm. For her, geographical boundaries are not so important the redistribution of territories and behind-the-scenes intrigues of politicians cannot overshadow the simple happiness of a peaceful life. Post-war Europe is a country without borders. It belongs to the future and photographers focus on those who bear its imprint young people and, first of all, children. Yes, against the backdrop of post-war photographs, there is almost always a place for echoes of a monstrous shock devastation, domestic poverty, and so on. In the photographs of the second half of the 1940s, the horror of yesterday's war is still visible. The signs of the times are captured ruthlessly precisely. Here Hungarian children look anxiously from the window of the Red Cross train, here in the Soviet club girls dance with girls, because many men died in the war. Here a Danish master remakes German helmets into chamber pots, here German refugees wander with their modest belongings, here a boy rejoices at a whole pair of donated shoes, here a girl dries clothes in the ruins of Stalingrad each of the photos hides a big and sometimes tragic story. But people almost always come to the fore and their most important emotions are joy and love. And what could be purer than childish unreasonable joy? Italian boy Pier Giorgio Branzi spinning with a wheel, children jumping over a rope in the photographs of his compatriot Johnny Berengo Garden, French boy Henri Cartier-Bresson proudly striding with wine, Portuguese and Maltese children of Sabina Weiss running in a carefree crowd. Marc Ribou's Yugoslav teenagers swimming in the sea, playing Parisian Knights of Edouard Bubb, London Teddy Boys of Roger Main. The list can be continued for a long time, but the emphasis on a new generation of people who were supposed to become bearers of new values is obvious. No less obvious is love. Love, which is the only thing that can be opposed to hate. This is how the stunning cycles of Parisian lovers from Robert Duano, Johnny Berengo Garden and Sabina Weiss appeared. From the second half of the 1950s, the world seems to finally come to its senses, shaking off the shackles of post-war poverty. The photographs also show signs of a renewed calm life. The girls, captured by the lens of Elliot Erwitt, are relaxing on the beach of St. Tropez. Spectators follow the progress of the races in the photo of Henri Cartier-Bresson. The girl takes a shower in a new apartment. Caught off guard by Nikolai Karunzin. Young people from all over the world are walking along the Moscow under construction in the photographs of Emmanuel Evzerikin. Erno Vidash photographs the production of prams at the Icarus factory. Pier Giorgio Branzi depicts old men sitting in a Parisian cafe. A selection of photographs of post-war Europe will allow you to touch this difficult, but saturated with inspiring hope period of history. Uninhibited movements, glowing eyes it seems that the children are about to break off their seats and run along a dusty street flooded with sun, lovers will merge in a passionate and chaste kiss at the same time and pure cheerful laughter will flow from smiling teenagers. The stunning effect of the shots, which are 70 or more years old, proves that photography is a true art.